you don't buy something just because Nvidia is investing in it. So Nano X was a big Nvidia investment. It's down 23% year to date. RXRX, ticker RXRX, which is recursion pharmaceutical, was another big Nvidia investment that came out, shocked the world, shot up. Well, guess what? It's down 33% year to date. So we know that SoundHound is doing really well, and that was an NVIDIA investment, but not every company that NVIDIA invests in is a great buy. There's some kind of circular thing here where NVIDIA is investing in companies that are buying lots of GPUs. I mean, are they, are they actually giving a certain amount of money in order for the company to buy GPUs? I don't know exactly how it works, so I can't say, but NVIDIA is investing in companies that want to purchase NVIDIA's products. That's important to understand, first of all. This particular company was actually a crypto company. So they have rebranded as a general data center, high performance computing data center company, but they were a blockchain company. Actually, they were called Applied Blockchain just not that long ago, and they've renamed to Applied Digital. So their largest customers are still crypto miners, Bitcoin miners. 62% of their revenue is from one customer. They only have two customers. So just Anyone who's super bullish on this and says, oh, look, it's high performance computing data centers. They're focusing on AI data centers. No one else is focusing on that. Take a few steps back, realize this company just had a good beat on earnings simply because they got one contract, probably from Microsoft. So they're focusing on North Dakota, South Dakota, mostly North Dakota, which makes sense because it's cooler year round. So you don't need to use as much cooling, as much energy in your data center as you would, at, let's say, if your data center was in Texas. Also, Doug Burgum. Apparently, he worked for Microsoft, so that's why we think that their North Dakota, their new data center is actually for Microsoft. Anyways, to, to break it all down and just kind of summarize what I'm saying here, this company has little to no revenue. They have, they have little to no customers. <laughs> it's just not, I mean, their margins are negative, so it's not a profitable company. I tried to find their gross margins to give them some credit, but they don't even publish it. They have uh, negative operating and net profit margins. So they're not really making any money, but there's hope that they might sometime in the future. This is a crypto company that rebranded as an AI data center company. Convenient timing, they did it just like last year, you know, once ChatGPT is picking up. And so far, they've scored one, what looks like one big contract that's not even fully um, built yet. The data center isn't even fully built yet. One big contract, probably with Microsoft in North Dakota. So don't get too excited about this one is what I would say. <laughs> what I would say. Um, yeah. I think data center creation and development is very important. And the Blackwell GPUs, I believe it or not, are I think are used for their data center build out. So maybe NVIDIA just really believes too, has a little, um, an inside track to understand really what's going on with these Blackwell GPUs and how they may be utilized in the demand that creates, correct? I mean, that's the way I look at it. And so um, I have a position in Applied Digital. Um, it is a smaller position. I am long on Apply Digital. But um, yeah, I, were you excited? You were kind of indifferent? Were you like, oh, hey, yeah, we should talk about this one? I do think it was worth mentioning in regards to AI phase. This is also a build out. This is not one of the end products. I don't believe this is a bust. I think, it, you know, but it, it's part of the build out phase of AI. Yeah. So the question is really like, what are they doing and what are they providing? And are they unique or do they have direct competitors who are doing the same thing? That's a kind of a tricky answer. So you may have heard of Equinix or Digital Realty Trust. The most obvious competitors to look at would be Equinix or Digital Realty Trust. What those companies do, they kind of provide the space for a data center, but then they allow the specific company, whether it be Microsoft or Google or whatever, to come in, bring their own servers. SMCI can or Dell can install the servers in their space. And then they kind of provide the infrastructure for that data center. Well, okay, so they're not quite doing that. It, what about CoreWeave? Is CoreWeave doing the same thing as it? Well, CoreWeave actually doesn't build the building. CoreWeave doesn't bring in the GPUs. CoreWeave is like a buyer of the AI cloud computing and a reseller, I guess you could say. So they don't do exactly what CoreWeave does. They do kind of a little bit of what all of them do. They do a little bit of what Microsoft does, a little bit of what Digital Realty does, a little bit of what CoreWeave does. And from what I heard on their conference call, they're actually selling GPU hours. So they can quote you the price to use an NVIDIA GPU for an hour. It's $2.20, they said on their earnings call. By the way, as an aside, it sounds to me like it takes about two years 
for them. If you consider the NVIDIA GPU is $40,000, at that rate, if the GPU was running con- constantly for <laughs> two years, it would take two years for them to break even on that purchase of an NVIDIA GPU at two twenty dollars an hour. So look, I don't, my, here's my concern here. I just don't see margins being great in certain businesses here. And this is this is why we're rotating right now. This is why everyone is rotated back into software because we, we saw the growth in the AI build out. But when we have companies like SMCI and Dell that can't show the margins, we have these chip makers who have just had, you know, analog chip makers who have decreasing and decreasing revenue. And we don't see a recovery quite yet. People are looking back to software. So that's why you have ServiceNow up so high. That's why you have companies like CRM, Salesforce up so high. I could go on Snowflake making a huge recovery. That's why the market has rotated back into software because companies like Applied Digital don't have the margins and they probably never will. Now, NVIDIA does because they're the only seller of the product everybody needs, but that's a rare case. A lot of these build-out companies just don't make as much money per dollar. They don't keep as much profit per dollar as software companies do. So I I mean, I can give you my final take. Yes, I do have a position, but I sold half of it after my research. So I bought initially when I heard about this investment. And then after I did all this research for this episode, I sold half my position. So technically, when I do my quick take, I will have to say selling because I am selling, but I did initially buy. You're actually selling, yeah. 